Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My name is Chris. Valentine's Day is about a week away and I thought it would be fun to do a video based on perfumes that have the name of love or something amorous in the title. And when I was looking in my collection, I noticed that I have well over like 10 to 15 perfumes that have the name love or kiss or hug somewhere in the title. And I thought that would be a great idea for a video. So before I get started, if you have any perfumes that remind you of Valentine's or the month of February, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And with that, let's just get started. I am gonna start out with the perfume that has the name Valentine in the name. Now look how cute. This is the one of the newest releases by Pink Mahogany. This is the box that my perfume called Valentine came in. I mean, could this be any cuter? And here it comes in this cute little box and there was like rose petals in here. I mean, just adorable. And here is the bottle. Now this released, I wanna say maybe a month ago, maybe not even that long ago. I ordered the, the sample. She has two new releases. They came to me like lightning speed and I knew immediately I wanted a full bottle of Valentine. So I ordered it right away and customer service was so great. This was shipped right to me, even though I think she is currently sold out and maybe in back order. But this is just the perfect perfume for the month of February. It smells like a fruity cheesecake. So this is a like a fruity cheesecake with musk. So the notes are on the inside of the box. We've got rum, cognac, strawberries and cream drizzle lemon zest, cheesecake accord, rose hedione, and butter, graham cracker crust, crust, white chocolate, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. So to me, this really smells like a very literal cheesecake. It's very cheesecakey. It's very creamy. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It does have citruses up at the top. I know there's lemon zest, so it's very strawberry heavy and lemony in the top, so it's very fruity. But let me tell you, the star is that cheesecake accord, the, the, the vanilla in the dry down, there is like a kind of like a brown sugar in the background. I'm getting like a brown sugar sweetness. So maybe that's the graham cracker accord or the graham cracker crust. It has a really nice kind of a soft sandalwoody base. It's absolutely delicious. And I think originally this was only meant to be like a one-time release. It was so popular. It is sold out. I think she is getting her second batch ready. So kicking off the video with none other than Valentine. Okay, so the next two I have are from Navitus. One is called, and I'm gonna show them side by side because there are a lot of similarities. One is called The Embrace. I've had this for a long time, about this long ago. The next one is called Divine Aphrodisiac. So they share a lot of notes. The one in particular they share is Sesame. So if you're a real sesame lover, you're going to love the embrace because the sesame is super prominent in this one. It's very, very unisex. So it's dry, it's nutty, it's very toasty. There's a toastiness to it. I want to say there is um, honey in this, definitely vetiver in the dry down. And this is very, very unisex. So this is not overly sweet, it has a little bit of coffee, a little bit of vanilla, but it's not a heavy gourmand. And it has that really nice, warm sesame note that I just absolutely love. So it's a, I would call it a dry gourmand. It's not overly sweet, definitely unisex. Now, Divine Aphrodisiac, I wanna say, has a peanut butter accord in it. It has peanuts, there's also sesame, but it's very buttery. This one has coffee in it as well, either like a caramel or a toffee sweetness. But again, it's not, to me, it's not overly sweet. It's not overly sticky because you've got the peanut in here. The peanuts in here, or the peanut butter accord is on the dry side, but you definitely smell peanuts. So you've got that dry, warm nuttiness from the sesame, like maybe it's toasted the peanuts and the peanut butter, gives it a dryness, a dryness, a toastiness. However, this one does have iris or auris, so I do detect 
like a, a little bit of an earthy vegetal orris or an orris butter. And whereas the Embrace does not have that. This also has vetiver in the dry down, but it's much more prominent in the Embrace. And this one is more powdery in my opinion. So two really good fragrances from Navitus that share some same notes. They have a lot of similarities, but there are some differences. The next one is another one from Navitus. I've had this for a long time. Like whenever it came out, I bought this. This is Venom of Love. One of my very few, why am I saying view chocolate loves? I really do like chocolate. I just don't like chocolate and apricot and chocolate and peach. This is chocolate cherry. So this is a straight up cherry cordial. So a chocolate covered cherry. And I know this smell very, very well. It's my brother's favorite thing, my older brother. It's his favorite thing in the world to eat. So every Christmas, I always send him two boxes and I keep a box for myself. But this is cherry cordial with a little bit of booziness. So it is a gourmand perfume, but one thing I really do like about this, well, I like lots of things, but it has a rose in it. There's something, so there's rose in here to bring it out of the overwhelming gourmand zone, even though it's very, very gourmand. It does have this nice rose and there's something exotic. There's something a little bit exotic and spicy, maybe like Arabian or Middle Eastern. It has a little bit of that flair in the background, which I really do like. So Venom of Love for my chocolate and cherry fans. A perfume video with a love name would not be complete without one of my favorites. One of my favorites from Initio, one of my favorite vanillas, absolute aphrodisiac. I talk about this one all the time. This is one of my top 10 favorite vanilla perfumes and I love vanilla fragrances and we'll be doing some sort of vanilla series in the near future. But this is a very gourmand vanilla with a little bit of an animalic flair that just gives it a sexiness. This is a sexy, warm, hot brownie a la mode, in my opinion. That's what I get. I get a warmed over brownie with melted vanilla ice cream on top. I have worn this to work and out and about and I get all sorts of different things. I've gotten, I smell like um, a chocolate chip cookie. I smell like a cake pop and I'm blanking on the other thing that I'm smelling like, but you get the drift. So very, very gourmand. Actually, I had, I wore this one day I put this on in the morning, went to a doctor's appointment like at three in the afternoon and I didn't, I thought it was gone. I couldn't even smell it on myself. I had people coming into my room politely asking what I was wearing from my siage. This is just, this is a crowd pleaser. People love it. You will smell like an irresistible snack. <laughs> Going to one that I haven't spoken about in a year is called Te Amo, which I believe means I love you. So how appropriate for a February themed Valentine, Galentine video. So this is done in typical Roja fashion. Lots of notes, lots of florals in here, lots of citruses there. This is a floral gourmand that's not overly edible. So there's lots and lots of florals in here. There is pineapple, other citruses, maybe orange. I definitely get pineapple the most, cacao, a dusting of cacao, there's chocolate in here, and a zillion florals. This smells, there's something very classy, very old Hollywood about this, timeless and slightly modern at the same time. So, te amo. The next one is one of the newer ones in my collection, and it's perfect for this video. It is by Montel, and it is called Sensual Instinct. And this reminds me, so if you wanna know what this smells like, this smells like you took Baccarat Rouge 540, you added Baccarat Rouge 540, the extrait, which has almond in it, and then you mixed in some Instant Crush by Mancera. You would get something very similar. Now, take those three perfumes, add some coffee, add some rose, and then add some toast, <laughs> like some dry toast in the background. I don't know where I'm getting toast. I'm getting this nice dry toast. Maybe it's like the woods in the background, but that's kind of what this smells like to me. This is a compliment getter. I've worn this like 
twice out and about. Everyone in my family loves this. I got a compliment from somebody. Where was I? Oh my gosh, I was over at the grocery store at Schnucks. Someone who was standing behind me said, ma'am, you smell really, really good. I didn't want to tell her what the name of the perfume was. I was a little bit too embarrassed, but my sillage was kicking up. I guess it was creating quite, I was creating quite the sillage. Now this one doesn't smell great on paper. I remember when I first tested it on paper, I, I, it, I wasn't sold, but it wears so much better on skin. So sensual instinct might be a big, might get you unsolicited compliments and followed around in public. The next one I will talk about is one called Narcotic Venus. This is a very classy perfume. What I get in this bottle is a beautiful grown up white floral. So this is a white floral to wear when you wanna be put together. It does have that banana-esque vibe. So it's a banana-esque white floral with some oomph. So this, instead of daytime Barbie, I've said this before in other videos, this is like nighttime Barbie. So this is Barbie with a red lip wearing black or you know a black leather jacket. This is a vampy Barbie. It's gorgeous and so many people love it. Pat, picky pat included when I wear it. The next one is one of my very favorite fall, spring, and winter, winter florals, hands down, and it is called Psychedelic Love by Initio. This is absolutely beautiful. This is almost a floral gourmand. There is ylang ylang, there's a beautiful almond. It's not quite marzipani, but it's getting there. It's powdery, it's very, very creamy. So it's creamy from a little bit of vanilla and it's creamy, I wanna say, from some sandalwood. So milky, creamy, floral, I think ylang. Lang Lang is the only floral in here and I do definitely pick up on it. It goes so nicely with that almond note and the almond gives it a little bit of a marzipani sweetness and a touch of powderiness. Maybe there's probably heliotrope in here as well because it's a fairly powdery perfume in the dry down. Another one that is a huge compliment getter. Pat loves this, but this is on the quiet side. So this is not your typical Inicio. This is on the quiet side. People are not gonna smell it unless they kind of come in your scent bubble and then it's like compliment city, it's beautiful. The next one, a full bottle is on its way to me. All I have is the little sample. I sampled this, fell in love, and ordered the full bottle almost immediately. It's by Bulgari and it's called Baciami, I wanna say, and I think that translates into Kiss Me. That's why it's showing up in this video. It is a gorgeous white floral gardenia heavy vanillic amber perfume. To me, this is like delicate gardenia petals dipped in a vanilla cream. It's very creamy. It's not quite milky. It's not quite lactonic. It's like a vanilla cream. So gardenia petals dipped in a vanilla cream. It's absolutely beautiful very strong, very alluring. There's something so sexy about this perfume. If I wanted to go somewhere and turn heads and make a statement and have people ask me, what am I wearing? If I wanted that kind of a reaction, you better believe that Bacciami is going to be at the very top of the list. There is just something so intoxicating, gorgeous and beautiful about this perfume, it's very beguiling. The next one is aptly named Sultry, and this is by City Rhythm, and the head of City Rhythm, or the CEO, Niles, he reached out to me on Instagram and said, I will give you an extra bottle of Sultry as a giveaway for your subscribers if you'd like, and I was like, of course, that'd be great. So let me tell you about Sultry, and if you're interested in a giveaway full bottle, he said that he will send it directly to the winner, which is great, so that's a lot easier for me, so this will make my life much easier. So Sultry is great for this video, and the inspiration is, you know, a couple on the dance floor, like a guy looking at a girl, and she's dancing, and she's just in the moment, and she's beautiful, and her hair is flowing, and her her clothes are form-fitting and you've just lost yourself in the moment. So this is very gourmand leaning and has gourmand notes. So let me look up in my phone. I've worn it probably four or five times, but I just don't know the notes by heart. So we've got um, 
cherry liqueur, pistachio, blossom, rose, caramel, almond, cinnamon, vanilla, sandalwood. So what I get, I definitely get the cherry almond in here. So it's a like a cherry liqueur, but not overly sweet. And the almond is more of a green almond. It's not super marzipani. So it's like a green almond, a cherry liqueur. I definitely get musk. So the, a lot of musk comes out in the dry down, a little bit of spices, a little bit of cinnamon. You've got that woody base of sandalwood. So super nice. I don't get a ton of pistachio and maybe it's because it's a pistachio blossom. It should, it's more floral but it's very pretty and I could see this being a date night perfume as well as like any time of the year. So if you're interested, if that sounds like something you would love, let me know in the comments below. It is the same thing as all my giveaways. You have to be a subscriber and for this, he would prefer you to be in the United States. It would make it easier for him to ship it to you, less hoops to jump over. And again, I'm gonna let this go for around a week after the video is released. Make sure you have subscribed, hit the notification bell so you are know, you're aware that when I post something on my community board and tell you that you've won, in addition to replying to your comment, you'll know. I have a program that picks the winners, but if the winner doesn't get back to me, I choose it myself and I'm gonna choose it. And this is what, the way I do all my giveaways is if the original winner hasn't gotten back to me, I will pick it myself based on somebody who I recognize their name. They, sh they show up all the time and they leave me nice comments. So that's how I'm gonna pick it. So make sure you keep on the lookout for the giveaway. So a really nice new offering from City Rhythm. And you guys know if you've been following me, I love this house. Getting down to the last three. So the next one I'm gonna show is by Maisa, Maisa Perfumes, and this is called Nuit de la Temptation, which, I mean, I'm not a Francophile, but I think it means temptation of the night. <laughs> so I wish you could just see this bottle. It's a beautiful red, kind of an ombre. I would call this an elevated floral with some dark syrupy red fruits in the opening. So imagine taking um, rhubarb and like tangerine, maybe orange, and combining them in a blender adding a little bit of florals, like a little bit of jasmine, a little bit of a lipsticky type of an iris, combine them, add a little bit of sultriness, and this is what you get. So it's a, it gets a little bit powdery in the dry down, which is probably from the iris, and it reminds me, in the dry down, it kind of reminds me of, it'll put you in the ballpark of possibilities. Now, I've had a couple people who are kind of like frequent buyers from me on Mercari and I will usually ask them if they would like any particular decant and I will do that for people who buy a lot from me. And I added this as a decant to two people and they absolutely loved it, loved it. So it's very, very beautiful and it's quite February appropriate. Oh, and by the way, if you're one of the winners of my giveaway for the samples of this, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. And if you live in California and haven't gotten your samples yet, I, I cannot help you. California, sending stuff, sending perfume to California is like sending something to the moon. Like California is like in a whole other world. Like if you put on your package that you have perfume in it, literally, I think it goes to some hazmat center for four weeks. Like the bomb squad has to kind of evaluate your package and then they get around to shipping it out four weeks later. Like people who live in California and who have been my winners, it takes like four to six weeks to get the to get your giveaways. I'm sorry about that. But anyways, now from the same house is L'Amour Eternal, which I mean, I think means, again, I'm not a Francophile, but I think it means eternal love. And this is for all my, this is so strong. This is for my lovers of a very strong fruity musk. So if you liked like Herba Pura, you're going to like this. It's not, the musk isn't as strong and nuclear. I cannot do Herba Pura. It just gives me a massive headache. This is strong. This is a strong fruity musk, but it's somehow just it's a little bit easier to take. And let me tell you, two sprays of this <laughs> last all day. Maybe that's where the eternal comes in. So I don't know the fruits of, I don't know what fruits are in Herba Pura because I don't have it, but the fruits in here are very orange. So peach, tangerine, nectarine, 
orange, mango, this is very mango prominent, you get the vibe. So it's very prominent in those orange citrusy fruits. And then you add a whole lot of musk, a little bit of florals. I would probably say jasmine, not super floral, but the florals are in the background. And again, this last, I had this, I've had this since last summer. I actually got a bottle before it was released and I was kind of hanging on to it before I wanted to show it in a video. To me, this is kind of spring, summer, but it is so strong. You could definitely wear it year round. I lied, I have two more to go. So the second to last one, I don't have a full bottle. I actually got a decant and it's uh, called Narcotic Delight. Now I wasn't jumping on getting this fragrance because I have tons of Vinicios and I looked into the notes and I saw we have another cherry dominant perfume. I only got it because I got a ton of you guys asking me, mostly over on Instagram, DMing me if I had tried it. So I went ahead and got a de or I got a sample. I got mine from ZGO Perfumery. I'll put it down below. I've been ordering from them for years. They have really good samples. So I got a sample and let me tell you, I have come full circle. A full bottle is on its way. It is a very, it wears very, very well. So yes, it is a cherry liqueur tobacco perfume with amber and vanilla. It is boozy and it has some florals. I wanna say it has like their famous note of hedione and hedione is a pheromone. So it makes the wearers smell a lot more attractive, but it's also a binder. It also seamlessly blends a lot of notes. And on paper, it may not wow you and it didn't wow me. I mean, I thought it smelled really good until I wore it. I actually wore this out to work. I know, like, listen, you gotta know your audience. And I knew where I was going that day that everybody was gonna love the perfumes and I didn't have anybody that was would be offended by what I would be wearing. And holy, moly like it sent my work friends a frenzy i sprayed four times four times at seven in the morning and i had people coming into my office at four o'clock saying wow you smell so good it's cherry there's cognac there's tobacco but it is not a typical listen if you're afraid of tobacco this is actually to me a feminine leaning fragrance because it's really sweet it's a very sweet perfume there's a lot of vanilla there is a lot of amber and it just wears sweetly. So in my opinion, I think it's marketed unisex, but it does lean feminine. So it's sweet and boozy. It has this hedione aroma chemical and it's just very intoxicating. So Narcotic Delight was a very good name for this perfume. So then, okay, then I, I went ahead and got it and I'm going to declutter Side Effect. It, to me, it smells nothing like side effects. Side, side effect is very strong, it almost burns the nostrils when you first spray it. It's strong to me that leans very masculine and Narcotic Delight leans feminine. It's way sweeter. There's a lot more vanilla and it might be just too sweet for a lot of people, but it's quite delicious. I strongly, because very, very expensive, I strongly recommend you sampling first, like all perfumes, but particularly this one. So I'm looking forward to my full bottle. And the very last one, I'm kind of cheating on this one. It doesn't have anything to do with love or it doesn't have love or kisses or hug me or anything amorous in the title, but there's something about this. It's called Speakeasy. There's something about this that makes me think of a lover's clandestine getaway. It is very delicious and I, I ordered the Discovery set from the line and very rarely did this happen is that I actually loved or strongly liked everything in the line. The two full bottles I ordered immediately were Speakeasy and Langston. I actually think I like Langston even more. Gosh, that's delicious. Speaky is a beautiful, it's an amber perfume that's got gourmand elements, but it's not a full on gourmand. I would call it primary, primarily an amber perfume, but it has a little bit of chocolate. It's got some pimento or pimento leaves, got a little bit of pimento, some spiciness, a little bit of cardamom, a little bit of citruses, but oh my gosh, this sounds like it's going to be very, very strong. And because of the name Speakeasy, it's got some sort of spirit in here, whether that's cognac or bourbon, or I don't think it's whiskey because this is a sweet perfume, but the, the spirit or the boozy notes are not overly prominent, but definitely in there. A little bit of tobacco, a little bit of 
like suede, maybe suede or saffron. It is a beautiful, very intimate perfume. I just cannot stop wearing this. There's something very, very alluring about this perfume. I posted it to Instagram. I had a lot of people tell me they loved it. They have candles. That's next on my list to get. And one person said, I like it, but it just does not wear very strongly on me. I will say it's an intimate perfume, which is great for me because I can wear it anywhere. I can wear it to work and you can wear it out to dinner. One of my bugaboos is when somebody wears a super strong perfume out to dinner. That's a big no-no. So you want to wear something, if you're going to go out to eat, you want to wear something that's not going to overpower people. And this is perfect. It's very intimate and would fit that occasion. And so that's it. My fragrances that somewhere in the name with the exception of one say something referring to love and affection. I thought it would be a perfectly themed video for the month of February and I'll probably release it on Valentine's Day if all goes as planned. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. And if you guys would let us know, let me know and everybody else know what your favorite February perfume is in the comment section below. I know we'd all love to hear about it. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.